Hello YouTube and welcome back to Clutch Situation. We've hit a milestone in the channel, channel recently, if you've been paying attention, and that is 3,000 subscribers. Wow, awesome. Uh, really excited that I'm reaching an audience out there in the web, and many of you her have heard me talk about that I'm doing this for myself as an outlet for me, but at the same time, if you know we can get in touch with each other and talk about a shared hobby, that's an awesome thing that we do. And so to celebrate 3,000 subscribers, I have two videos for you. I have this first video, which is going to be a collection review, which many of you have been asking for for uh, several weeks now on the channel. It's been a very long time since I... Uh, went through the entire collection and sort of shown you what is present in my collection, especially for viewers who are perhaps new to the channel. This is an opportunity for you to see the breadth of my collection and what I tend to concentrate in as well. And then a second video that I'm going to do sometime soon, there's been a little bit of a delay in shipping, but it should arrive over the next couple of days, is a mechanical pencil review of a brand that I have never reviewed on the channel before. And it's a brand that I have been waiting to invest in, but... They're, they had not come up with a model that was right for me yet, and it's finally happened. And I don't want to spoil it for you. I want you to wait until that video comes about, because I think that many people who are interested in mechanical pencils will be interested in what I have to review coming up. Now, what you see in front of you is all of the cases that I have for my collection. What I had to do to assemble all of these in one place is that frequently for me, I have my mechanical pencils all over the place at work and at home and uh, at different locations within my recreation space in the basement where I shoot these videos. And so I tried to bring the bulk, like 95% of the collection, all together into one location so that you could see what it is. And I sort of have dedicated cases uh, for different mechanical pencils. Now, before I go any further, I understand that many of you may not want to watch a 30 plus minute video. And so in that vein, what I'm going to be doing here is sort of giving you a little preview of what's in each case approximately so that you can be prepared to understand what you're going to be seeing in case you want to fast forward. Because what I'll do is I'll clear everything out of the way and I'll bring in one case or one collection of cases at a time so you can sort of see what is available in terms of my overall collection. And so a very brief tour. These are what I would consider to be my luxury pencils that are in defined cases. Not all of my luxury pencils are located here because many of them I purchased loose and did not come with collector's cases, or I've made the decision to just remove them from their collector's cases. But this is going to be one segment right here. I'll probably start with this segment. Then we have my carrying cases, which contain a wide variety of different mechanical pencils that I tend to carry with myself on a regular basis. And and so when these green cases come up, you'll see a lot of my EDC or everyday carry that I'm walking around with on a daily basis. This larger black version of this these canvas uh, global art cases is, this is the bulk of my Pentel collection is in this one case because Pentel is one of my favorite manufacturers of mechanical pencils. And so I have a case just for this. And then you may have noticed that I have four other larger cases. These four larger cases are artist loft cases that you can get at Michael's. And so if you are looking for more of a budget option for a case, I think that these retail for, um, I want to say 11 or $12, but since you can use 50% off single item coupons at Michael's, you can frequently get them cheaper if you are a shrewd shopper. And so these Artist Loft cases kind of contain a lot of my miscellany. I'll probably do these more in the middle of the video. And so I'm just going to slide them out of the way temporarily on top of the basement DVD player over here for when I need to be working on something and, and I need to and I feel the need to maybe watch a movie while I'm working on something. Let's start with some of the luxury stuff. Now you're gonna notice here that a couple things. One, I am going to showcase a pen here. You know, sometimes I collect ballpoint pens as well. And 
if I'm going to invest in a really high quality product like a Retro 51 product, what you're going to see is that sometimes I will go in on ball points on those, and I have my preferences with uh, ball points and roller bo- uh, rollerball pens as well, and so that's something uh, to consider. And so let's just go ahead and dive right in. So this Pelican case, Pelican is a fancy mechanical pencil manufacturer, and what we have inside this Pelican case is the pencil that I reviewed for 2,000 subscribers not too long ago. This is the Pelican D200 mechanical pencil. I added it to my collection because of this beautiful green marbling pattern. And yes, it's kind of a luxury pencil, 14 karat gold. Uh, And green is my favorite color. And so I went ahead and added it to collect the collection there. Next, we have that Rote Ring case. This Rote Ring case is a vintage case. I would say around circa 2000 or so. And what I'm going to be showcasing in this Rote Ring case is a collector set of Rote Ring Newton mechanical pencils. And you'll notice that I already have one in hand. It's because I had had it out of my case because this pencil is usually part of my EDC. It's number one on my mechanical pencil list. And so here we have a uh, Rote Ring Newton around circa 2002 or so based upon what I was able to figure out from the case and the provenance of the seller that I got it from. These Rote Ring Newton pencils are interesting in that in addition to not having a knurled grip, they are a retractable conical sleeve. And so if that's something that you're interested in, in the quality of an older Rote Ring product, Rote Ring Newton is an awesome mechanical pencil. Here we have Lamy. Okay, I got this as part of a clearance at a pen store that closed here in Omaha not too long ago. This is a Lamy logo in sterling silver. Brushed sterling silver, I should say. Retractable sleeve. Kind of a fun... Lamy pencil that's a little different from the plastic or fiberglass models that most people are used to seeing. And here's my warranty and everything. And so this Lamy case contains my Lamy logo that I like to write with. Now we have some Retro 51 pencils. And you'll notice that two of these say Farney's on top because Farney's is a very well-known luxury Uh, writing instrument store in the United States, and I order from them often specialized uh, things. These two in particular are very special to me because these are Farney's limited editions that I purchased in Washington, D.C. Well, this one I purchased in Washington, D.C. I believe this one I ordered. Um, And they're both Farney's exclusive, so let's just go ahead. This first one is the uh, Declaration of Independence Signer Series. And it contains all the signers of the Declaration of Independence on it. Retro 51 Tornado products are very fancy uh, mechanical pencils. They have a screw twist mechanism, 0.9 millimeter lead. I love Retro 51 Tornado pencils. And then we also have a Farney's Cherry Blossom Edition, which just came out last year, I believe. Nope, nope, this year. This is the 2017 series. And there are so few Retro 51 Tornado pencils in green. And so I went ahead and got this because it has this lovely olive green finish. And it highlights the cherry blossoms of Washington, D.C. as well. And then uh, I'm going to show you a pen. This is the Apollo series Uh, tornado rollerball and I went ahead and I took out the cartridge that comes with it and I went ahead and put in a space pen cartridge because a space pen of the Apollo missions should definitely have a space themed cartridge in it. I also really like the cartridges for space pens with that pressurized ballpoint ink. Ballpoint ink lasts for a really long time and it's a, a I really like the ink since it lasts for a really long time, but being pressurized, it will write on grease, it will write on water, it will write upside down. It's just a really nice, uh, high-quality ballpoint ink. Uh, While I'm here, I also collect uh, ballpoint pens if there aren't mechanical pencils available when I go and visit uh, various locations. And so here's just an example of something that I picked up about seven or eight years ago when I was in Dallas. Um, Dallas is very infamous in the Dealey Plaza in Dallas is where President Kennedy was assassinated, shot, I should say. Um, 
And uh, so this is a lovely, I, I like these marble patterns. This one is a bright blue marbling pattern. And this is a pen from the Dealey Plaza Museum in Dallas. That's a great museum, by the way. If you get an opportunity to go to Dallas and are downtown and are looking for things to do, it's sombering if you understand the history. Uh, for my many of my students, they don't understand what for them is ancient history, but I'm old enough, and I'm not that old, folks. I'm 40 years old, okay? Not that old. But I'm old enough to recognize some of the major national tragedies that we've had, and I'm interested in the Kennedy assassination and the true science behind it, not the Oliver Stone schlock uh, that came out in the JFK movie, which is not based upon any verifiable forensic science, by the way. Um, but I'm interested in the impact that Kennedy's assassination had on our nation, and so when I was at the Dealey Plaza Museum, I picked this up. So so that takes care of those uh, luxury cases. I think at this point, let me just take you through some of the more varied aspects of the collection using these artist loft cases. And so we're just randomly going to open this one up. And this one looks like it has... We have Milan PL1 touches. We have a variety of my Zebra mechanical pencils in this case. So for example, see if I can zoom in here. That worked out pretty okay. I'm moving the camera around, which is not always ideal, but we're going to do our best here. Okay, that worked out pretty okay. Let me try to refocus here. So these are all uh, Zebra mechanical pencils. The Zebra Z-Grip just came out this uh, school season. Zebra Delgard. Um, uh, the... Zebra Delgard LX model, which is a much higher quality model, the standard Zebra Delgards, Zebra Hand Fit, color, uh, color to Zebra Color Touch, which I didn't quite care for, Zebra Delgard EX, some Zebra M301s. We have, I believe that this is a. I want to say it's a Muji mechanical pencil or Muji a Muji mechanical pencil. Um, and this is a stainless aluminum, or aluminum I should say, capped mechanical pencil by Muji. Muji is a uh, retail department store in Japan, but you can also purchase them here in the United States. We have a wide variety of uh, Bix and other low quality mechanical pencils that I've reviewed over the years. This is a Bic for her, which I consider absolutely hilarious and at the same time disturbing that they're making products that they intend to be gender specific because frankly if you like it you like it no matter what your gender is so i don't know why companies feel this need to market only to one gender you're like immediately um cutting your base in half and then we have um some platinum mechanical pencils platinum zero shins which are high quality mechanical pencil my odo and right dudes pencils are up here which are the lowest quality mechanical pencils Pencils that I have. This is an Odo Radial, which I dislike so much that I didn't even review it on the channel. Um, it, it just really rubs me the wrong way. And then, you know, we have some miscellaneous stuff like uh, the Pentel Side Effects and um, Pentel Transition Mechanical Pencil and a Pentel E-Sharp in 0.7 milliliter, millimeter, and I have a Colito multi-pen here that I need to refill. And so a lot of miscellany in this case. I have um, some cross mechanical pencils over here, and a paper made sharp writer. There's just a lot of miscellany in this kit uh, case. And then I have mechanical pencils that I got at the Library of Congress. Some places you can actually get mechanical pencils. I have mechanical pencils from the Johnson Space Center in Houston. Failure is not an option. Toured there last summer, and so I was lucky to go on a short little vacation for that. Oh, and ooh, before I forget it, over here we have the Alvin Draftmatic mechanical pencil sort of sticking off on its own. And so I know this isn't very well organized, but people ask for a collection video, and you know, I'm a busy professional, and so I just threw things together in the time that I had available. And so that's Artist Loft case number one. Artist Loft case number two, things are going to start to get a little bit more organized here. So we have a lot of my Uni mechanical pencils here, the Uni Shalaku S. I have in a variety of different colors. I really like this one as a side advanced mechanical pencil. It's really affordable, but also um, a really good cost for uh, what it is. And 
messing around with the camera here. Hopefully that isn't too bright right now. My tripod is also not locking. There we go. I got it to lock into place. Sakura Sumo Grip, uh, Alvin Draftmatic, the Alvin Pencil should be together. We have the Uni Alpha Gel. This is not a Kuratoga. This is just a normal Alpha Gel with a squishy grip. And uh, some antique pencils that I found that I'm still working on identifying. I have a student who got me a Gandalf, the Grey Staff from Lord of the Rings. It's basically just a generic pen, but it's cool in that it's like a, you know, Lord of the Rings uh, staff. And so um, that's, you know, fun novelty little pen. We have Pilot Rex Grips mechanical pencils in a variety of colors, including my favorite color green. We have Pilot Delphal, Pilot Opt Shaker, and Pilot Shaker H1010. Now here's one of the original Pentel Twist Erase pencils. Um, that's also out of order so clearly I got to do some organization here because I have some zebra Z grips the generic model over here but these are mostly pilot mechanical pencils pilot g3s pilot 2020 pilot g2 comes in a mechanical pencil version which these have been a lot more um, these have been a lot more common at retail stores and I just realized folks that I'm sorry I forgot to slide this down while I was describing everything uh, and so pilot op shaker Pilot Shaker H1010, Pilot Fear Fear Corona, Pilot G2 Mechanical Pencils, Pilot Progrex, Pilot 2020, Pilot S3. So a lot of my Pilot Mechanical Pencils are in this case right here. And moving right along because we do have a limited amount of time in the video. I don't want to spend too much time in the video. Okay. What do we have in this case? Well, we have a... University of Nebraska College of Information Science and Technology mechanical pencil that I got through something that I'm sure that I've done through extension with UNO because I'm an adjunct professor at the University of Nebraska Omaha in addition to my high school teaching position. We have the Tombow monograph shaker. We have a Lamy, um, I want to say that this is a Lamy 2005 millimeter, but I'm, I know that that's not the case. This is a luxury Lamy mechanical pencil that I'm blanking on the name right now. It is not the 2000. I'll show you a version of the 2000 uh, sometime soon. Um, oh, this is a Lamy Scribble, I believe, in 5mm, really thick lead that you can sharpen to a sharp point. We have more Uni mechanical pencils, the Uni Shift in 0.5mm, which has this interesting locking lead sleeve action. A variety of Rote Ring mechanical pencils, some older model Rote Ring Tiki's, a Rote Ring 300, this is a 2mm version, Uni Kuratoga mechanical pencils. Both of these are the standard Uni Kuratogas, and then I have the Uni Kuratoga pipe slide right here, and then I have the Uni Kuratoga Advance right here. We have what I think is a Platinum Mini mechanical pencil, if you want to try to stick a tiny little mechanical pencil near a wallet or a purse or something that would fit in there tombow uh zoom five zoom 505 sh which is a capped mechanical pencil i do recommend it whoops okay so just like a pentel sharp carry you can cap it and it has a rubberized grip there which is pretty unique Fabric Castell mechanical pencils, the Grip 1345. I have a TK Fine Executive, and I do plan to review a uh, TK Fine Vario uh, sometime in the future. Just haven't gotten around to it. We have a Tool mechanical pencil. I did send a Tool mechanical pencil to a gentleman in France a couple of years ago, and we did a short little exchange, and I reviewed some pencils here on the channel. We have a Zebra Prefill multi pen. This one, not very high quality. I don't know if you can see it on the video here, but there's a crack in mine. If you're not careful with these, these are very cheap multi-pens. If you uh, screw the mechanism together too hard, you can get breaks. Uh, I have another Lamy logo. This one is in um, polished stainless steel. Um, I prefer my brushed stainless steel one that I showed you, but another quality Lamy mechanical pencil. We have Stettler mechanical pencils, uh, Stettler Tri Plus Micros, which I think are a really good buy if you can find them. 
up here, Stettler 92505. This is just a standard Stettler wood case pencil that I got uh, as a result of ordering something through jet pens, I think. Stettler Mars Micro. Some people had a question on the channel on this particular video, how do you retract the lead sleeve on this one? Well, since we're here, let's just go ahead and do it. You, this is an example of a mechanical pencil where you really have to press down hard in order to get the lead sleeve to retract. And so my advice to you is with the knock, press down hard you need to press down hard on the lead sleeve and let go and it will retract we have a Stettler Mars micro eraser Pentel Icy hanging out here for some reason Papermate Precision which is a purchased and lower quality variant of the rote ring uh, Tiki mechanical pencil we have a Pentel tri eraser Paper made sharp writer because why the heck not thrown in there. Uh, and then we have some of these paper made clear points, which my students absolutely love and I absolutely hate. I mean, I think that they love them because they're colorful and they're customizable and they're cheap, but that cheap usually comes at a cost and I see more broken ones of that practically anywhere. And then, you know, because Avenger, uh, because, uh, Avengers, we have some paper made 1.3 millimeter mechanical pencils sort of designed for kids in school but uh, I'm a kid at heart so I went ahead and added them to my collection and we're almost through these larger black cases continuing on last artist loft case this is kind of a Pentel and miscellaneous overflow case. And so over here on the right, we have a variety of uh, Pentel Wows and Pentel Twist Erase GTs. There is a Pentel Technoclick in here in uh, pink and a Pentel Energize mechanical pencil, which is basically the body of an Energel gel pen. Uh, in mechanical pencil form, we have some older variation uh, quicker clickers. This is the smooth circa 2000s quicker clicker in smoke gray. This is the more modern circa 2010s uh, ribbed grip, rubberized grip quicker clicker. You all know that I'm a fan of the original quicker clicker, not the uh, modern ones. And if you say quicker clicker five times fast into a mirror, I will appear behind you and say boo. That's a fact. We have some more of these Technoclick pencils. Uh, I definitely wanted to try them out, add them to my collection, and so I purchased some of them. And then some various miscellaneous pens that I've collected. Um, Smithsonian Institution pen that I got when I was at the Smithsonian in 2010. We have a Green Bay Packers pen that I picked up when I was at my first game a couple years ago. I'm from Wisconsin originally, and so I'm a huge Green Bay Packers fan. We have University of Nebraska Omaha College of Education pen because this is where I'm an adjunct professor. And so I got this nice little pen when I signed on. And then I have a couple of Fisher Space pens, both of these acquired at the National Air and Space Museum. Uh, Smithsonian, and if you're not aware of Fisher Space Pens, they are sort of a classic ballpoint pen that you can get. And then I think I have a, um, this is a, this is a Parker Classic pen that I think came as part of a set. This is a pen that I received as a gift when I was a kid. Okay, so you know, like a young guy who's into books, somebody wants to give him a pen. Awesome. We have a Lamy Safari fountain pen that I haven't ink, uh, set up with ink yet. A variety of older style mechanical pencils. Skillcraft Fidelity mechanical pencil is sort of a classic mechanical pencil that uh, is was produced by the National Industries of the Blind, and they do still make these. Um, they're just a little bit more difficult to come by. We have a Pioneer Seeds mechanical pencil twist. I believe, I want to say that this is Schaefer. Let me try to look at it closely in better light. Yep, this is a Schaefer twist mechanism mechanical pencil. I found this at uh, one of the local flea market malls, Armadillo, uh, Armadillo Flea Market Mall here in Omaha, and it's in mint condition. Uh, and so picked it up and uh, a marbled green mechanical pencil that a student gifted to me. 
um, variety of, of Pentel mechanical pencils. This is sort of my Pentel overflow. If you're not aware of the Pentel Prime mechanical pencil, you're not really missing anything. And that's the end of that. Okay. So that's the last of the dark black cases. Now let's go to some of my EDC stuff. For those of you who are interested in everyday carry, these are sort of the, these green cases are the cases that I carry around with me on a regular basis. And depending upon how easy it is for me to carry something around, Let's try to zoom back out a little bit. Depending upon how easy it is for me to carry something around, I find that I tend to use this smaller case for just normal everyday carry because it'll fit in that mag satch bag that I showed in one of my recent EDC videos. And then this is a larger case. So once again, these pencils are going to be a tad disorganized because I just got stuff in the collection together. But these are examples of stuff that I carry with me on an everyday basis. Let's do the big one first. So in this case, I have a lot of my heavy hitters. Uh, some of my better mechanical pencils that I tend to use on a regular basis, ones that I really like. And so you'll recognize a lot of these. And if something doesn't appear in this case, it doesn't mean that I don't like it because I'm constantly switching things in and out of the collection as I go. Uh, so as to... Um, so as to have an opportunity to try out the bulk of my collection. So here we have the uh, Loki Metaphys mechanical pencil, Uni Kurotoga. Uh, this is the Uni Kurotoga, not the high grade. I'm blanking on what the particular model name is for this right now. Um, so this is one of the fancier Uni Kurotoga models that you can get. We have the... Uh, Uni Jetstream 4-in-1 Multi-Pen. I use this for grading with that uh, Jetstream ink. Uh, really like that Jetstream ink. We have a Papermate Tough Stuff eraser stick that I tend to use for more fine erasing. We have an AutoPoint Jumbo, All-American Jumbo twist mechanism pencil. We have a Pilot S20 in burgundy wood finish. In this little plastic bag right here, we have a uh, Faber-Castell uh, Grip 2011, manufactured in Germany. I really love Faber-Castell mechanical pencils, but they can be harder to get here in the States. Uh, Zebra Monograph Zero, I like this because of the knurled grip. We have the classic Parker Jotter Stainless Steel. Okay that I purchased. I think this one was manufactured in the UK. Kind of a surprise when I got it. We have the Stettler 92525 in 0.3 millimeter. So if I was going to get a Stettler 925 very high quality drafting pencil, I wanted to get it in a finer lead size. So I went ahead and got it in 0.3 millimeter. And then good all around multi-purpose mechanical pencil, the Zebra M701 with the knurled grip. This is a really good Bang for your buck pencil at uh, five bucks, I think, on Amazon for a really high quality mechanical pencil. Continuing on, the Platinum Pro Use 1. The Platinum Pro Use 2 comes in a thicker variety. I prefer the skinnier grip, so I, ha I only have that one. Um, here uh, we have the uh, Monteverde mechanical pencil, the Monteverde One Touch Tool mechanical pencil, which is a twist mechanism. I got it in copper because a copper finished mechanical pencil is very rare to come by. We have a lot of my top 10 stuff in here. So the uh, Retro 51 Hexamatic drafting pencil with a retractable sleeve. Rotring Rapid Pro is in here. Twisby Precision is in here. Okay. Pilot. Uh, Dr. Grip Bordeaux reddish color in 0.9 millimeter. I've been getting into 0.9 millimeter a lot recently. Lamy Scribble, Lamy 2000, fiberglass mechanical pencils, more of a luxury model. And then I have a grading pen in here, a Pentel Energel with uh, purple ink and a needle tip. And so that's just what's in that everyday carry case that I've just been hauling around with me recently. And then also some of my recent hauls. This, this mini case tends to go with me a lot. We have a Cume uh, lead point eraser for the Magno neodymium magnet pencil lead holder. 
This is a gift from a very dear friend. Okay. And Magno is coming out with lots of new products, it seems. Uh, most recently, a ballpoint pen, so I have not invested in it at all, since I'm not a ballpoint pen, you know, as much sort of guy. But uh, hopefully, you know, folks at uh, Hrebercane, when you get a new mechanical pencil, go and send it to me, and I'll review it here on the channel, try to get you some, some exposure. Uh, the Kokuyo Fit Curve is a pencil that I'm going to be reveal reviewing soon on the channel, so it's in my case because I've been using it a lot. The Skillcraft uh, Multi Pen, the a B3 Aviator, uh, uh, Black Ink, Red Ink, D1 Refills, and a Mechanical Pencil, Matte Bat Black Finish for uh, individuals who fly planes so they don't get glares. Uh, Rote Ring 800 is usually in my EDC, as is the Rote Ring 600, because Rote Ring 600 is one of my favorite mechanical pencils of all time. I recently reviewed the Pentel Energel 2 and 1, so this is a combination mechanical pencil and gel pen. Really liked it. Different amongst multi-pens in that this top knock allows you to advance the lead without having to fiddle around with the pocket clip. And then the Kokuyo Sharp S series, and Pitsu, Kokuyo in Pitsu Sharp S series is, I believe, the most recent mechanical pencil that I've reviewed on the channel. And so this is my everyday carry case that I've been hauling around with me so that it's more compact and I can keep high quality mechanical pencils on a hard back. These cases, by the way, are available at Blick Art Supply. They're more expensive than the Artist Loft cases, but they're really durable. They have this canvas exterior and a hard back on the inside with felt, so you know your mechanical pencils are gonna be nice and secure with uh, those elastic enclosures. And then, last but certainly not least, I've saved the best for last, and uh, I'm gonna actually start with the back of this. Let me just zoom out just a little bit more. And so starting with the back of this, this is the bulk of my Pentel collection um, that are not Pentel Sharp P200 series pencils because that's the number one pencil that I am trying to collect on a regular basis. And so a variety of things like uh, Pentel Pianissimo, my two Arends pencils, I have the classic Arends in this green color, this black grip Arends with the rubberized grip I received as a gift from a friend. We have classic Pentel Twist Erase, Pentel Wow, Pentel Energized Mechanical Pencil, vintage Pentel Icy Mechanical Pencils that have brass clutches instead of the modern plastic clutches, some Twist Erase GTs, a limited edition Pentel Graph 1000 for Pro, that is 70th anniversary Japan. One of my dogs got a hold of it, and so that's unfortunate. Chewed the cap, but you know what? Really great mechanical pencil. Pentel Technica X mechanical pencil. A variety of Twist Erase 3s. I've really gotten into Twist Erase 3s now that they've come out with a lot of additional colored models. And uh, especially available at Target, but also uh, I, some of these I ordered from uh, Jet Pens, or I got these uh, this red and black set at Office Max. That really surprised me that they had that. We have Pentel Graph Gear 1000s. I have two of them in .5. Pentel Sharplet Twos in .5, the black, and .7, the blue. Pentel Graph Gear 500. Two Graph Gear 800s. I have it in a dark blue, but in. Uh, a Graph Gear 800 in 0.9 millimeter in the classic yellow. We have uh, Pentel Smash. A lot of people are a fan of this, and it has come out. They've come out recently with some limited edition colors of the Pentel Smash. I highly recommend that you check that out. Pentel Smash is a great mechanical pencil with little rubberized nubs on it. We have the uh, Pentel. S55, sort of office 1960s style mechanical pencil, sort of Pentel's equivalent of a Parker Jotter, I would say. Uh, Pentel Graphlet, I like it a lot. I'm not, I, I'm not crazy about the grip, but I, I really love the lightweight nature of it in a sturdy drafting pencil. Mine is in 0.9 millimeter. I have my two vintage Pentel Quicker Clickers. Say it five times fast and I'll appear in your mirror. Woo! Quicker clicker, quicker clicker. Okay, uh, so this is the classic transparent blue. And then it came in a wide variety of opaque colors. Green is just one of them. They have these shorter two millimeter lead sleeves, lightweight, very skinny grip. 
You can tell that these are vintage because they have the classic green Pentel erasers. Okay. Uh, Pentel Twist Erase Click is a modern version of a twist erase that is a slide click mechanism. I'm not as crazy about this one. Whoops, it's coming apart. Some of these can be difficult to get out of these rubberized enclosures, but uh, it has this really large button, which I'm not as big of a fan of. Sort of gets in the way. It also has this smooth rubberized grip. I'm not a big fan of the Pentel Twist Erase Click, but you know I keep it as part of the Pentel collection. And then I have three... Pentel Sharp Carries in Classic Red, uh, 0.5 millimeter, 0.5 millimeter in Limited Edition Olive Green, because green is my favorite color, and 0.7 millimeter in Navy. And there are lots of other uh, colors that are available in Pentel Sharp Carry, but those are just, you know, I, I'm not made out of money. I don't have unlimited funds. But now let's get to the Pride and Joy, my Pentel Sharp collection. I plan to continue to expand this over time. I have some more of the classic sharps here on the end, uh, 0.5 millimeter in black. The PS315 uh, semi-retractable sharp with a sliding sleeve here in navy blue. We have then the classic line, uh, 0.3 in brown, 0.5 in forest green and burgundy, and 0.7 in sky blue and 0.9 in yellow so this is the classic line of pentel sharps then we have some of the pastel colors metallic pastels that are available at target in a wide variety of colors these are custom made pentel sharps from turn of the .com. more expensive but i can then add a very dark hardwood and a light hardwood to my collection and next um these are the newest limited edition Pentel Sharps that came out in Japan as part of a, a pastel series in a off-white and a sort of a lighter bubblegum pink. Comes in a variety of other uh, colors as well. Apparently, baby blues and baby pinks are very popular or have been in Japan in recent years. Those were available on Tokyo Pen Shop for a very short period of time, and then they straight up sold out. We have... Um, oh, and then it also comes in this navy blue color. These are all part of the same series right here. We have the complete marble series. I really like the look of the Pentel Sharp marble series in red, brown, green, and blue. This is a Pentel Sharp Karari, which is a 0.9 millimeter special edition sharp that comes in these metallic pastel colors. I got mine in violet. It also comes in some other colors as well. We have the carbon black checkered pattern limited edition uh, P205. We have a couple of the metallic series that came out a couple of years ago. I got metallic green and metallic purple. They come in a variety of other colors as well. Metallic Black and silver, this was part of a set that I got at Office Max. And these, you can get these at Office Max right now if you're interested in some more limited edition Pentel Sharps. We have some Pentel Sharps in a variety of gold colors. Uh, let's see if I can tell them apart. Okay, this one right here is one that I bought as part of a metallic series, I think as part of this series right here. And then this very bright, vibrant yellow gold was part of a anniversary set that came out in Canada, and I bought this off of Canadian eBay. And so this came as part of a, uh, in a single package, and maybe with a standard black one uh, P200 series as well, but this was only available as a limited edition for uh, Pentel North America's 50th anniversary, I want to say, or maybe it was even 60th anniversary. And then finally, we have the Gilded series. These were limited editions that came with uh, gold-colored uh, accents, and so I got it in blood red and black because my school colors are black and red. And so we did it in about, you know, 39 or so minutes. This was a review of my entire collection to celebrate 3,000 subscribers. I'll have another video coming out in the next week or so in which I will review a special mechanical pencil that I've never reviewed on the channel before. I've never reviewed this brand on the channel before. And so that'll be something for you all to look forward to. And so thanks so much for your support and sharing this hobby with me. I hope you enjoy checking out my collection. Trust me, there are larger collections of mechanical pencils on the internet. So I'm just sharing my humble little uh, collection. 
and I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the things that are available, some of the things that are no longer available that you could shoot uh, for on the vintage market. And so, yeah, there it is. Feel free to comment down below and uh, like to get this video spreading around. Usually these collection videos are very popular on, on YouTube, and so hopefully the channel gets some more buzz and we can keep adding some subscribers. And in my eyes, that's just more people to share the hobby with. And so thanks for sharing this journey with me. I'm going to keep plugging away and sharing my love for mechanical pencils with you, and I hope you love mechanical pencils as well. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening.